That's it. Quarantine is officially over. Did you enjoy spending a couple quality weeks with me? No? It went by pretty fast and honestly, a lot to do with this adorable little puppy here. By the way, I love how much she loves food and it's quick to go to the bathroom. Like really great qualities in a little puppy. Got cute. Got cute. All right, definitely a freezing day. Let's go find some food. Now, as you can imagine, there's not a lot of stuff to eat in uh, this little town I live in, but I did hear there's a new Sichuan restaurant just opened, not even 10 minutes from my house. So I'm gonna go check it out, see if we can bring some good food back. You wanna go get some dumplings, dumpling? She doesn't seem that excited. I am though. Actually change of plans. I'm gonna go back to Washington soon. I think next week, so. I'm gonna drop a little dumpling off here in Flushing. My little baby. I feel pretty sad. Like, I've, I've really bonded with this little guy in the last couple of weeks. I'll see you when I get back, okay? Oh, she's so excited. Oh my gosh. Here, Sophie. Oh my gosh. Is she? We're gonna take her to get groomed. Oh, wow, she's so excited to see you. Guess uh, won't miss me much, will you, little baby? Well, this just feels really empty now. I'm gonna go say hi to my parents really quick. And also, I gotta use the bathroom. Also, I'm really curious to see what they've done with the condo. Oh, so the lobby looks a lot better. Nobody here, but looks a lot better. Well, wow, hallways are still not polished. So uh, this building's taking a while. That's that's when you know in a building with Asians. Hello. 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 Right? Right? Sure. Yeah, it's very cozy. 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 It's a little later but before that i i gotta eat because if you taste your own food on an empty stomach you can't be the most honest critic so i'm gonna go eat something before i go taste our own menu stuff so my friend jen told me about this new dim sum place that's been just everyone's raving about it so i'm gonna go there and basically eat everything on the menu oh my god it was so nice earlier today now it's just kind of a wet mess. Here it is. Awesome dim sum. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how you doing? Good, Hi. good. Yeah. All right. How are you doing? Nice, no mask. What's your name? Uh, Frank. Frank, nice, nice to, to meet you. you. Nice to meet you, man. All right. Thanks for uh, having me. Good. It looks good. good. You like uh, dim sum? I'm do I like dim sum? Yeah. Uh, just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> so you're trying to be Pinda Express of dim sum, uh, but with actually good food. Yes, maybe a <laughs> shake shack, I would say. Like a more, shake shack? Yeah, bring dim sum. A dim sum shake shack. Like yeah. good quality like dim, sum dim sum. That's like fast food almost. Exactly. Well, I'm excited to try, man. Just get to go into the kitchen and see how the dim sum is made. Take a look. We have an open kitchen. Yeah, yeah. So this way, customer can see how we prepare the food how we making the shoe mine. Oh, that's this where the magic hot. happens. We oh my gosh. Here, the here watching a hagao come together. They've never seen the dough be made before. The dough has got to be very, uh, very thin and also very translucent. You almost have to be able to see through the dough. So it's not just going to be wheat flour. What'd you say? Wheat and then wheat flour, rice flour. Rice flour. Yeah.
Oh, the lobster is steamed. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Look at this. That is gorgeous. Oh my. That's the hard part, trying to narrow it down to what I want to eat. Have to do steam rolls. Okay, barbecue pork with parsley rice noodle. Number one house fried noodle. Wonton soup. Or actually, we can just do this. <laughs> Dim sum combo. Gotta get some lava buns. I love pork short ribs. Soup dumplings. Barbecue pork bun. Custard bun. Fried rice dumpling. Interesting, okay. Ooh, rain is coming down. <sighs> Cozy little outdoor dining space. All right, I basically ordered one of everything on the menu and I really can't wait to try that lobster. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm so excited. Did you see the size of that thing? If that thing was swimming towards me in any body of water, pee my pants a little bit. This is dinner number one. Really about to feast today. All oh mine. This is dinner. I've been in the presence of dim sum many a times in my life, but this is the first time I felt completely overwhelmed and speechless in a rush against time because it's cold and I don't want dim sum to get cold. That's just the ultimate travesty. So let's dig in. I feel like I'm, I'm standing in front of Halle Berry right now. I have no idea what even to do or say or just shock pretty. Oh, okay, it's cold. Let's start with some wonton soup. Oh, that's delicious. Usually wonton soup is very light. This thing is jam packed full of shrimpy flavor and each wonton is ginormous. Yeah. Mmm. That is so bouncy. This thing is so bouncy, it could work security at a nightclub. Just a massive shrimp on the inside. Let me show you guys. Massive feeling with just the thinnest little wrapper. This is all substance right here. Mmm. Oh, that is so good. I'm a little cold right now, so... Having some of this soup really helps. These are the dragon rolls. inside crispy filling stuffed with shrimp and it kind of looks like the body of a dragon hence dragon rolls mm. that's one of the best rice rolls i've ever had in the dim sum kingdom this is tremendously good not only is the inside so incredibly crispy the shrimp is like bouncing inside the wrapper but also the rice roll on the outside is one of the most delicate things i've ever tasted This thing crunches and melts at the same time. Must try item here. I think this is this is a fried dumpling. A characteristic I noticed already for this place is that mm, another must get when you come here. As I was saying, a characteristic I already noticed about this place: they do not skimp on the filling. When you're biting into all wrapped food items like dumplings and rice rolls, you hardly taste the wrapper. Mama always said, "It's what's on the inside that counts." Him. Here, you're gonna get a lot of it. Basically what I'm saying is, this dim sum is marriage material. This is the fried rice dumpling. Oh, I know what this is. So the, this is a crispy puff rice wrapper on the outside and inside is the dumpling filling. This is the best one of these I've ever had in my life. Not even close. Look how thin the layer on the outside is so thin and airy. Usually, what I'd be afraid of eating this thing is how heavy and oily this would taste. Here, not at all. Mm. So light. When you bite down through that tiny, thin little crispy shell, it melts. All right, I asked for the soup dumpling. Usually, soup dumpling is, is not a good dim sum item, but I can't help. Oh, look how much soup is in here. I can't help it though. When I see soup dumpling, I order soup dumpling. Oh, that's good. Delicious. Oh, that is good. Like I said, I've never really had good soup dumpling at a dim sum place. That is fantastic. I feel like I'm Dorothy and all my stuff is just being blown all over the place. All right, this is another rice roll. I think this is the one with parsley inside. Again, look how thin the outside wrapper is. All right, I'm destroying this one. Really not on purpose, but I can't use chopsticks today, apparently. Oh, this is amazing. I never had one with parsley. 
which provides such a great fragrance. And again, the wrapper is just so light and thin. And they use pork belly inside. Oh, the fat from the pork belly. Hmm, incredible. The rice noodles here. Barbecue pork bun. This is reminiscent of Tim Ho Wan. Mm. If you like Tim Ho Wan's barbecue pork bun, you'll love this. Outside is a crusty, crispy layer of sugary crust. It tastes like a pineapple bun, a bull low ball, and a chow shell bun, a barbecue pork bun. Started dating, the pork bun proposed, the pineapple bun said yes, they got married, went on a honeymoon, maybe in Hawaii, I don't know, a few nights of passion, and something like this popped out. Another must try. Mm. This is the custard bun. The next time The Rock wants to film a Baywatch movie, I should consult this place because they know their buns. Wow, that's good. That custard especially. So creamy. Oh, this is the lobster show my. Mm. You basically don't need tea to eat that. So delicate and tender. And that lobster just provides that amazingly delicious natural sweetness. That's delicious. Whoa, Liu Sha Bao, salted egg bun. Chicken sticky rice wrapped in lotus leaf. If done right, one of my favorite things in the dim sum world, and that is 100% done right. Sticky rice, you can taste the fragrance of the lotus leaf. This thing, if it doesn't taste good, it just sits really heavy in your stomach. And it kind of just feels like a burden. This one, wow. I never had one with the aroma of the leaf was so strong before, and that's a very good thing. Wish I could wrap myself in this at night and go to sleep. I would wake up the next day smelling great. This is one of my favorite things in dim sum, little short ribs. I didn't see any of the uh, fermented beans on here, but you can taste it. That's ah, wonderful. That's one of my favorite things, so I'm gonna say it's a must try. This is it, the infamous hagao. What I consider a good hagao, the wrapper needs to be pretty much translucent like this one is. You can see the pink of the shrimp inside, and it's gotta be bouncy. Wow, one bite, you can tell right away the difference between like a handmade skin. It's something that I was bought in a grocery store. That's gonna have so much good mouthfeel, so much bounce, plus the bounciness of the shrimp. Hmm. And again, I love how they just stuffed this dumpling with shrimp. A shrimp dumpling, honestly, the ingredients are really, really simple. I'm not talking about the wrapper, that's kind of pain in butt to make, but the ingredient itself is really simple. It's just some shrimp, maybe sometimes shrimp and pork, sometimes shrimp and scallions with ginger. Even though the ingredients are simple, to make this amazing takes some skills. For me, the flavor's gotta be clean. It's gotta be bouncy. Both the wrapper and the shrimp and this thing hits all the marks for me. Mm. Of course, you gotta finish every dim sum meal with an egg tart. Mm. Flaky, sweet, eggy, creamy. Perfect exclamation mark on an incredible dim sum feast. Oh, it's wonderful. Thank you. I have the uh, home blue hibiscus tea. Oh, uh, yeah. nice. Thank you. Give you your earlier. <laughs> the outside. Thank you. Thank you. Right? No, it's great. All right. Thank you. Really sweet and sour. Mm. That's very nice. Thank you. All right. After basically trying essentially everything on the menu, this place knocks it out of the park. If this is going to be the future of dim sum fast food. It's a home run. Rice noodles, some of the most tender I've ever had. The dragon run with the tender rice noodle with the contrast of the crunch inside, amazing. And then anything with the word bun in it, get that. The crispy roasted pork bun, the custard bun. Those are both right now sitting here and here. Love the sticky rice, love the ribs. I love the soup dumplings. And you can definitely taste the difference when someone's actually making this delicately by hand. The wrappers on the dumplings, like the shrimp dumpling, mouth feels out of this world. I do love the fact that eating dim sum is kind of like an occasion where you just gather with your friends or family, what are 20,000 things and you're sharing. But sometimes you're alone, like I'm usually always alone. And sometimes I just want some dim sum by myself. So yeah, like, like a Panda Express of dim sum. I really like that idea. Maybe they'll let me work with them or something. All right, I'm full. I feel like right now I can honestly make a good judgment opinion on whether my ramen is actually good or not. So let's go to dinner number two. Frank, okay. uh, I just want to say, this is incredible what you're doing. It tastes delicious. 
Thank, thank you. you so much for having me and I wish you continued success. My thank friend. you, appreciate it. Awesome, thank you so Have much. A Have a good night. This is where we're having the tasting. First thing I'm needing is not the ramen. This is just Wagyu rice. I'm gonna say no to Wagyu. It's Wagyu. How could it not be great? Mmm. That's good egg. Oh, that just tastes luxurious. Oh, now I'm really full. I'm gonna be a real honest opinion about the ramen now. Chicken and pork. It's pretty. It's good broth. It's not boring like typical, like just pure chicken broth. I typically don't like chicken broth ramen that much, mainly because I feel like the broth is a little boring. It's pretty good. That's a beautiful egg. Nice slices of chicken, plum paste. Noodles I really like. It's actually fresh handmade noodles. That's very nice. Chicken is tender, is good. I feel like the flavor didn't quite completely penetrate the noodles though. You gotta slurp the noodles with some soup. Then the flavor is there. But just the noodles itself, I feel like it's lacking a little bit of something. Overall, the flavor of the broth is great. Chicken is great. Noodle texture is great. It may be a little too picky. I don't know. I gotta say, that's a sexy egg. That's delicious. Mm. That's very good. Wow. Oh, well, mama kick is wonderful. Broth is very, very nice. Noodle texture is good. I do feel like the noodles are a little too thick. Yeah. I'm tasting so much flour. I mean, dough. Mm. Chashu is marvelous. Akisan, chashu is. Fantastic. Wow, that's great. Mm. This was very nice. Very nice. The broth is exceptionally good. I think the noodles could be a little thinner. I'm gonna try that. But otherwise, this is good to go. This is the star of the show. A5 Wagyu beef ramen. This is on the menu. We wanted to do something that was tremendously beautiful and one of the most beautiful things out there is A5 Wagyu. And then there's also Wagyu Chashu. I've never seen that before. And look how this thing is just falling apart. Whew. First of all. Mm. Oh, that's good beef broth. That's very nice. Good job on that. That's very nice. Mm. Oh, that's very nice. With that peppercorn burn. Wow, it's super beefy. It's like Neuro Man. It's like beef noodle soup. And it's also really fatty. Like it's, I feel like the, the layer of oil, like I don't, yeah, you don't need a chapstick in the winter. It's very nice beef flavor. Guys, you need this. Oh, that, that beef chashu is crazy. That thing just melts so much. That was great. Good job on that. Oh, wow. <laughs> of all the beef noodle soups I've had in the world, like that was the meltiest, meltiest chunk of beef I think I've ever had. That was very nice. We could make a rice dish with that. Seriously. We are doing it? Good. Oh, wow. I would eat that beef with rice. It would just melt all over the rice. Of course, the Wagyu. Never a bad thing could be said about Wagyu. That's 100% staying on the menu. Last one, this is the spicy ramen with uh, pork, little chilies inside, Thai basil, cilantro, bean sprouts. 
crunchy sprouts, peppercorn, spices, nice fragrance from the cilantro. I know a lot of people can't do cilantro, but if you can, you'll love it. Aki-san, very nice. Yeah, thank you. It tastes really good. It's first tasting, pretty, we, we have some feedbacks, mm -hmm. but mostly pretty amazing, especially that beef soup. Yeah. That was, that was like the fanciest beef noodle soup I've ever had. All yes. right, well, we're gonna have some other stuff on the menu we're gonna try and... Uh, have this will be really good. We're gonna have what? Meat uh, over rice. Meat over rice. Okay. Yeah. All right. We're having some sort of dumpling, all right? Of course. All right. Exciting stuff. More to come. All right. Now I got a two-hour drive home in the snow. Yo. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you later.